this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possess that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, but I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different app, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He put Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Featherweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Garcia! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Monster! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Labine. The veteran Eve Labine draws the assignment here. Ready? Ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Circling to his right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thud leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big leg kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Great punch. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Real quick leg kick. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, nice right hand. Blocks the shot. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh, big shot, man. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's 
doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. He blocks the punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt fast. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Connects with a right. Straight right hand now just misses. Big punch land. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Come on, let's go, do something. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Entertaining scrap so far. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Man, I need you to go out there and knock this dude down again. All right, but this time, let's close the deal. Second round underway. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. That's a big strike right there. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Punch coming is blocked. Back to the feet. 
Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, he's doing a nice job here. Oh! It's over now. He got him. <laughs> a near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Monster! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. Touch the sky, but you ain't got shit on me. Cause I'm on top of the bell.